what's up y'all it's Kara here and I'm coming at y'all with another quick product demo you guys can go back to the blog and see you know what I actually wrote up about it because you know the blog tends to be a little bit more detailed as far as product price the amount of um, amount of product that you receive and stuff like that but here I'm just gonna demo this product it's the NARS contour blush you might remember when I picked this up at the makeup show and I got the darkest shade which is Gina now this product actually comes in three different colors there's a really light one I think that's called Olympia there's one in the middle that's called I can't remember the one in the middle but again that'll be in the blog post and then the darker shade which is Gina so here we just have the darker contour shade and there you have the highlight color so I'm going in with my coastal sense brush CS 45 and it's just that flat contour brush and I'm doing this so that I can have more of a defined contour never mind this bump that's here you know when it's the time of the month for me I always get a bump somewhere in this area on my nose or my face or something like that so never mind that but I'm just gonna go in and take a little bit of powder and I'm just going to carve out from the top of my ear where my hairline starts down to about where that bump is unfortunately so you guys see that and I'm not gonna leave it that defined I basically use this brush so you guys can see it more so you see that line there and I'm also going to do the other side, same way. Again, when you don't want to take your contour too far to your mouth because then it's going to look like you have a beard more than a contour because as you talk, you see the inside of your cheeks, they basically go in already. So that automatically looks contoured as you talk. So you really only need to do but so much of contouring. So I take it from the beginning of my hairline down to about here, where that starts. And I hope that makes some sense to you guys. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that contour powder and I want to place it around my temples. Of course, the middle of my forehead. The other side. And don't worry, we're going to blend all this out in a second. I'm just basically placing the product right now. Chisel out that jawbone so it doesn't look like I have this double chin here that I do. <laughs> hey, three kids, I'm allowed. Okay, and going in for the other side. And I'm even going to go as far as contouring my nose with this today. When it comes to contouring your nose, I like to connect the beginning of my brow and then come down. Again, the beginning of your brow. Hope you guys can see and you don't have to worry about so much making this line so straight you just don't want to look like you have a crooked nose so that's where the highlight and the blending is going to come into play I also like to take, take the contour powder around the tip of my nose so everything looks uniform and going in with my Real Techniques contour brush it just looks like that I'm gonna go and buff that up, blend that up <laughs> without adding any more product. We just want it nicely blended. And guys, I'm so sorry I'm doing a demo with this big old bump on my face, but I really wanted to get this stuff out the way, so excuse the bump. As you can see, this powder has 
the perfect reddish undertones. So it doesn't come off as like a gray cast. It basically comes off as a nice. And I'm not gonna worry about blending my nose just yet. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. small stipple brush. And I'm gonna go into that highlight color. Now, I normally don't use this highlight, but I like it as far as going to work because it's not too out there, it's not shimmery. It's actually kind of matte, if you ask me. It has like a sheen to it, but it's more matte than anything. So I'm just taking a little bit of that times that highlight color and I'm just gonna go here with it underneath my brow above my brow bone and right there at the top of my cheekbone and blend that out so, so it's not an overpowering highlight I don't know if you guys can see that I'll go in again It's not an overbearing highlight, it's just perfect for everyday wear. So, if that's what they was going for, like an everyday highlight, I'm gonna come in a little closer. I'm not sure. I'm on my laptop. My freaking, I can't find the um, right size memory card for my thing. I had a memory card that's perfect for my DSLR camera. I can't find it. My camera keeps cutting off, so I'm sorry about the quality. Again, if you want me to do answer any questions about this product, um, I definitely will. Just leave them down below, and I have no problem answering your questions. I love talking to you guys. love getting you guys feedback. I would definitely like you guys to also check out the blog post that's going to be affiliated with this product, so you guys can find out more information that way as well. Because whatever question you have, just may be answered in there. So being that I did two here, I'm going to go again. And go under the brow, above the brow, and blend it into my cheekbone. Now I'm going to take a little of this powder. This is a good powder to go in the center of your nose. Not every powder, not every highlight color is good for the center of your nose because you don't want to be walking around like a glowing disc up there. So, yeah. And I'm going to take a little of that to my chin and above my cheekbone. So that is basically my highlight and contour with the NARS Gina Contour Blush Duo. If you guys have any further questions about this, definitely let me know. Thank you guys for watching as usual. I want you guys to stay blessed, have a great day, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye y'all.